A lot of you have been asking for this video. Like, a ton. So here it is. Basics of eyeshadow. Y'all have been waiting a while and I appreciate you all so much. So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm going to be doing a look today that's flattering on any eye or eye shape. It's very simple and can be as dramatic or subtle as you want it to be. In order to do this, you're going to need three different colors. A light, medium, and dark. I'm using some shades of brown, but this will work for any color scheme. You want to use blues? You go, Glen Coco. So let's take a quick look at what we're trying to achieve. If you've seen my video on the basics of contouring, you'll see we're going to be using some of the same principles here. Light and shadow. So, if a light is pointed at an object, there will be a highlight, the point closest to the light source. As the light stretches across the object, it's not going to be as harsh, which creates midtones. And finally, the area that the light doesn't reach is in shadow. The overall goal with eyeshadow is to enhance the eye. This particular technique we're doing today makes the eyes look bigger and brighter. So, our lightest color will act as our highlight, medium color will be our midtones, and darkest color will be the shadow, all to create a three-dimensional, flattering look. Okay, enough science, let's jump into application. To start off, I like to use an eyeshadow primer on my lids. NYX makes this awesome primer, which I'll list in the video description below, or it'll also be in the blog post on MakeupYourMind.com. This gives the eyeshadow something to stick to and keeps it from melting off throughout the day. I've also used concealer in the past and it works pretty well too, but I prefer a dedicated primer. Next, the tape hack. Now, this isn't required, but I love this hack for giving a nice clean line on the outer end of my eyeshadow looks. That line is also a great guideline to follow with your eyeliner for the perfect wing. To apply your eyeshadow, I highly suggest using two different brushes. Saint Beauty makes this dual-headed eyeshadow brush that is easily one of the best brushes I've ever used. Like for real though, I'm just obsessed with this thing. It's two in one and does its job so well because it's super soft and just, oh, I'm just really in love with this brush. I named her Eileen, she's my best friend. Hello. Anyway, I'll put a link to the brush below. Either way, you need an eyeshadow brush with a fluffy end. This is going to be the best brush for blending. You'll also need a smaller, less fluffy brush. This is going to be the best brush for precisely placing product. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Okay, let's do this. We're going to start off by taking our fluffy brush and using our lightest color. We're going to tap this into the entire lid, blending it out as we go. Now, there's a blending motion that I want you to remember throughout all of this. Forward, backward, forward, out. We're blending our color forward and backward following the crease and natural V-shape our eye creates, always aiming to keep the outer corner darkest, brightening towards the inner corner. You can repeat the forward-backward motion as much as you want, but always remember to bring it out. The outward motion will help soften and also make the eye look larger. This will help you blend effectively and create that three-dimensional look we're going for. When it comes to eyeshadow, blending is your best friend. All right, we're going to go in with our medium shade now. Using the fluffy end of the brush, we're going to tap the color into the outer corner of our eyelid and start blending. Placing the color in the outer corner and blending it inward helps keep the darkest part of the shadow at the outer corner and diffuses it as it blends with our highlight color towards the center of the eyelid. Okay, but what about this mess in the brow bone area of my eyelid? Don't worry. Use your fluffy brush and some of your highlight color to diffuse that harsh contrast. Much better. I can't say this enough, blending is your best friend. Now we're going to take our smaller, more tapered brush and go in with our darkest color. We're going to focus solely on the outer corner and gently tap, tap, tap that in. Mm -hmm. 
Then we'll go in with our fluffy brush and blend. Remember forward and backward following your crease. To create more definition, use your smaller tapered brush with just a small amount of your darkest shade. Tap it into the outer corner and use our blending motion to blend it into your crease. Using the smaller tapered brush will keep this color more isolated, adding depth to your crease without falling out into your lighter areas. Now take your highlight color and using your fluffy brush, Lightly blend some into your brow bone area to create more definition between your crease and your upper eyelid. Gently remove your tape in an outward direction. Ugh, look at that perfect clean line. I usually like to do my eyes first, then my foundation, so that I'm not cleaning up fallout on an already made up face. But if you like to do it the opposite way, you can blend out the tape marks and dust off any fallout. Apply liner and mascara for a more dramatic look. To clean things up and soften, go back with your fluffy brush with no product on it and gently blend out any harsh spots. For a little extra zhuzh, use your smaller brush with some of your medium shade lightly under your bottom lash line. And gently blend with your fluffy brush. I even like to take my highlight color and put a little in the inner corners of my eyes for a little extra pop. And there you have it. Super simple, super easy, and can be done in a matter of minutes. I hope this was helpful for y'all. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and check out MakeUpYourMind.com for more helpful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, you beautiful humans.